and this message is for the CEO of DoorDash, Tony Shu. Um, sir, I've been working at your company for like three and a half years. I, um, I, I'm, I'm a top dasher, sir, all the time. I, I make a, a thousand a week, right? I make 700 on, on, on weeks where I have appointments, but I still make a, a good amount of money. And that's not because I'm getting the best routes or anything. I'm a, I, I have a 90% plus acceptance rate, right? I, I, I get up at 4.30 a.m. and work from 4.45, I'm on the road until nine at night, sir. Every day except Saturday. Okay, that's why I'm able to make a thousand dollars a week because I need to feed my family. I have bills to pay, right? I, I have a 17 month old son and now I have a seven week old daughter. I have two car seats in the back as you can see, right? I, sir, I, I can't believe. As a top dasher, sir, I have to ask, ask this: Why? Why did this happen to me, sir? Right? This is this is. I'm gonna tell you what happened. Okay? This is what happened. I I got I got a background check thing from you guys, so I said sure, no problem, because I don't have anything on me. Right? I'm in the military. I, I serve the country, and and I do this to also make a living. Right? I live in Massachusetts. It's so expensive here. Right, and and so that's why when this happened to me, I, I just I don't know what to do. That's why I made this video. But sir, I I said sure, run the background check. So they did it, no problem. I get a, 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 a email back saying that they found something. It's like a speeding thing from years ago, right? So they either I get back in touch within 10 days or the DoorDash will make a decision on my account. So I'm like, oh, snap. But te for the time being, they're going to, you know, take me off of DoorDash. I can't dash. So I was like, oh, geez. I wonder how long. So right away, I sent I sent a message. And tell me why, sir. I had to reach back out on the eighth day because no one has contacted me back yet. And then I spoke with the woman and she told me, right? The DoorDash support woman, she told me, I explained everything, right? About the whole speeding thing. It wasn't even me, right? Okay, I had to go the whole court and everything because it was affecting my military career. I had to, I, it wasn't even me. I had to prove to the courts it wasn't me and I did. I won the case. It wasn't even me. Someone got pulled over and said my name and, and, and it, it was it was huge. And I, it, I did so much to try and prove it wasn't me. It was so hard and I did it. And, and for it to come back and haunt me like this, but but I explained all of this to the, the DoorDash support lady, and she said, okay, I have the, everything on file, being recorded and everything, and I said, okay, cool, but listen, it's been eight days, and I haven't worked, so when, you know, when can, what do I do? When can I start working? And she said, she's going to get in touch with them, and they're going to get in touch with me, and I said, I only have 10 days, it's the eighth day, and she said, don't worry, you're not, your account's not going to be, you know, suspended, or, or, I mean, not suspended, um, removed or anything. And I'm just like, okay, good. Cause I was getting worried. I, had, I, I wouldn't have a job, I'm out of a job. So I said, all right, let me send in what I can send in right now. She said she will put in some other thing and send me another thing. And I did everything that I was supposed to do. And now I'm in the waiting phase. Tell me why, right? On the 10th day, I get an email telling me DoorDash made a decision and I'm terminated. After all my time I've given you guys, you're just gonna terminate me like I'm nothing. Really? And I didn't even, the, the crazy part is I didn't even do anything, bro. It's not, it wasn't even me. It's been about 12 days now and I haven't worked, you know? I got I got two kids to feed a wife. I'm I'm pulling out of my savings to, to try so until I start work again. And how long is that gonna last? I live in Massachusetts. Gas alone over here is expensive. 
I mean, it's not like California, but it's still expensive over here. A two bedroom, one bathroom is going for $3,000 a month. What? And then I got gas, other things aside. And then tip for the DoorDash. I I believed in you. I I put my heart into you for all these years. I'm going to school too. So there's a lot on my plate. And for me to be terminated for something I even do after you tell me I'm not gonna get turned, don't worry about it. That's why I'm asking if I could speak to the owner of DoorDash, Mr. Konish. This video is for you. Only you can help me, sir. Please, if I could just have 20 minutes of your time. Please, sir. Only you can help me.